Well, let's speak to another musician now, veteran musician, Sipo Hot Sticks Mabuse, who is on uh, the line. Hot Sticks. Hey, boss. Your thoughts? Hello, boss. Yo, hello, Buyo. Yes, I can hear you, Hot Sticks. Um, well, sad news, Johnny Clegg is dead. Yo, what's yeah. going on in your mind right now? I've received, I've just received a message from his office now. I've just spoken to them. You know, I've been in contact with Johnny for almost, almost once a week I've been talking to him. You know, and incidentally this morning, look, what has he been like in especially in the past uh, few weeks did he complain about anything was he in good spirits uh, what did yes, you what did you talk about uh, yeah I yeah I can hear it it's just that my phone is just it hasn't stopped ringing well you know every time I spoke to him he would be saying that he's okay he'll be fine he's strong you know, we've been communicating almost once a week and so on. And, you know, incidentally, this morning, I was singing uh, one of his songs, The Crossing. And uh, I was playing it on saxophone. And I didn't realize that this was a message I was receiving that Johnny is going to be going today. Now, you worked with him on a couple of uh, projects. T t talk, talk to us about those. Well, most of the projects were mostly the big festivals that we did. One of the festivals we did was the, the four triple six four concert in London we did together. But lately, you know, we've been working on fundraising projects. Uh, we raised funds for some of the musicians that have passed on, some of the musicians that he'd work with, like Bussi uh, Pabotiki and so on. So Johnny would always be inviting me to come in and perform on, on some of the shows that he did. Now, the collaborations, uh, I mean, he did recently, even though he wasn't as well as uh, he could have been. I mean, one of them, I mean, we saw earlier work working with uh, younger musicians and uh, school children. Uh, well, you know, you, you know, some of the things that Johnny and I were, were thinking were, were honestly beyond just music. Because uh, I think there was a lot of commonality in terms of how we saw our country. And him and I would engage on that. So our relationship was not only based on, uh, you know, on uh, um, the music that we did together, but also, you know, how we felt music can cross, how music can help, you know, conscientize the South African society. In, in the current state. And I'm, I'm just a little disappointed that I never got to, you know, complete some of the things that him and I had been planning. Mm -hmm. uh, do, would you want to expand on some of those, Hostics? What, what would, do you have wanted, uh, or what did the two of you uh, think you could still do? Well, you know, our country at the moment is going through a, a very difficult time and given I mean, all the commissions that are taking place. And as you know, that Johnny was, was one of those uh, foremost musicians who had always spoken, even during apartheid. And I also believe that, you know, we had not even honored him as well as we could have. And uh, some of the things that we'd always be talking about is that how do now we engage as musicians in this country to try and, and rebuild and rework, conscientize our society the same way as we did with uh, the South African, uh, you know, uh, apartheid, against apartheid. And Johnny was always there. Mm -hmm. Hostix Mabuse, thank you very much uh, for your time and tributes uh, this evening. Thank you, thank you, thank you, books. Thank you so much. Musician Sipo uh, Hot Sticks Mabuse paying tribute uh, to this legend uh, that uh, died this afternoon. Johnny Clegg dying at uh, the age of 66. His manager, uh, Roddy Quinn, will join us in a moment.